protecting your ideas with patents and non-disclosure agreements. I appreciate patent attorneys, I really do. They're smart people who are trained and hired to get new patents issued, and they're good at it. I especially like working with the ones that are better at educating and simplifying complex subjects rather than those that use fancy language and complex processes. But either way, they're good at getting patents issued. The problem with patents is that they're expensive, and according to my contacts at the patent office, over 90% of patents issued for consumer products in the United States never become products sold in retail stores. That's not the attorney's fault. Seems like they're doing their jobs pretty well. It's the inventor's business to launch the product or license the rights to someone who can. What I want to do here is lay out a much lower cost way of inventing that increases your chances of success and protects your intellectual property along the way. If you're a person with a lot of ideas and you've already realized you need help, you're going to love this plan. But here's my disclaimer. I'm not an attorney and I don't play one on TV. I'm not giving legal counsel. I'm just expressing my opinion from a business and sales perspective. So if you're uncertain, go file a patent or get an NDA signed. This process became clear to me recently when I attended the USPTO Independent Inventor Conference at Wichita State University, where I was able to conduct some video interviews with senior managers and question them directly on the changes in the New America Invent Acts. There, I learned about the grace period. Most patent attorneys don't value it, and I agree that outside DRTV, for traditional distribution channels that are slow and cumbersome, filing a patent is the inventor's best form of protection. But for TV products, the grace period is a gold mine. It allows the inventor 12 months from the date of the first public disclosure to file a patent. Now, we consider all submissions confidential and non-public, so by my way of thinking, the clock hasn't started at that point. If we pass on an item, then you'll know and you can continue to move forward however you think best. It's all confidential. But if we decide to test the item, then we'll offer you a term sheet, a licensing agreement, or partner partnership opportunity, and then we'll begin market viability testing to determine if consumers will actually buy the product. That date becomes the date of the first public disclosure, and the clock starts ticking under the grace period. If the item fails, which three of five do, then the product rights revert back to the inventor. But if it succeeds, then we're off to the races and we'll begin putting more money into a rollout. This all happens in about three months and you can file a patent at that point. Our team gets the rollout funded and we continue testing and increasing dis distribution. You filed your patent and this all happens with lightning speed. We can have a product on the as seen on TV shelf space and in that area of the Walmart and the Walgreens with full mass market rollout, United States and international within about 12 to 18 months, which is huge. And all the money's made in the first five years. So it's not like you need a 20 year patent. If you prefer to use non-disclosure agreements, just ask any of our team members for our standard form. Most companies won't sign an NDA, but we will. There's some great videos and educational material posted at the USPTO.gov and I made a playlist on my YouTube channel, so if you're interested, please check that out. Now learn the criteria, submit your products, and let's launch some winners together.